Hey everybody, Bam McCooley here again. Next to me, I have a dinosaur. The 2024 Ram TRX Final Edition. This is the last one with the Hellcat. So did this dinosaur go out with a roar or is it going out with a whimper? Let's find out. All right, starting with the front, we all are familiar with the TRX and how aggressive it is. Of course, it's a massive stance, a super wide with wide fender wells here. You have this great grill grating system with the open ram right here. And of course, coming down here, you got the bumper here with your tow hooks. You got all your sensors and your cameras for the full 360 degree view. Coming up here to the top, of course, you have your marker lights because of how wide this thing is. Legally, they have to put the marker lights on. And of course, you got more induction. You got functional heat extractors here. So it's just an overall impressive look. You have your LED lights here, your fog lamps here. Me being more of a Ford Raptor guy, and I love the way the Raptors look, the Ram TRX is very impressive in person and it's very intimidating and I can see exactly why there's a ton of people that love it and hate to see the Hellcat go away from this. All right, coming around to the side, of course, you got your fender wheel wells here. You do have wheel well liners in here already installed. Coming to these tires, these are 35 inch Goodyear Wranglers. They of course are the 325, 65 R18s. So they're wrapped around the 18 inch aluminum wheels that are beadlock capable. And the 35s are a good look. It's a good off-road tire. It's a good all-terrain tire and I like the way the rims look as well. Up here coming to the top, you have your 6.2 liter supercharged badging here and you have your TRX badging going across here. So everyone knows you're in a TRX if they didn't know already, it is definitely badged out. And I do like the fact that they like to advertise this is a 6.2 liter V8 that is supercharged. Underneath, you see a little bit of the suspension going right here. And of course you see the coal springs there and it's just an overall robust looking suspension that can definitely definitely handle a lot of off-roading, a lot of jumping and everything like that. And definitely all the street travel you want to do. Continuing on down the side, of course, you got more vents here. You got Ram and black. This particular color is called Harvest Sunrise. When I first saw it, like a picture of it, I wasn't that crazy about it. But when you see it in person, the more you look at it, the more it actually grows on you. So I definitely like how it looks, especially with all the black accents. You got the black rear view mirrors here. The windows are slightly tinted. You got your door handles that are black. They might have have made this the harvest sunrise color i think that would be pretty cool too you got your off-road running boards here or, or they're really just step ups um, and of course they're labeled ram as you continue down you got another black handle and if you notice this is a two-tone paint system so we got gloss black here to go along with the Harvest Sunrise, which is a, definitely a good look. And coming back to this, of course, you still have the 35 inch Goodyears. So the tires are the same size all the way around so you can rotate them. But underneath here, you get a very good look at the Bilstein shocks for the specifically designed for the TRX. They're very good shocks. This is the TRX's version of their shock system versus the Raptors version for the Fox shocks. So Bilstein makes a great shock and you can definitely tell it during the in the ride. Continuing on down the side, of course, you got more TRX badging here, which I actually like. Don't I think it might would be better if this was a gloss black or a matte black, so it would really pop off the Harvest Sunrise. Coming around here, of course, you got your LED lamps here. You got Ram. This is darkened out. You got Ram here. Coming around the back, you got Ram and black. Like I said, the black really looks good with this particular color. You got your TRX badging here. You got more recovery hooks. You got your tow system here. You got your power outlets and your trailer hookups here. And you have two massive exhausts here. And this thing absolutely sounds amazing. There's nothing like it. It even, in my opinion, sounds more throaty and louder than what the Raptor R is. So, of course, you got your camera here and you got all your parking sensors and everything you need. This right here is the key fob. On the back, it does have TRX, though I'm not gonna take it out of the badging here, but on the back there is TRX, but you have unlock, lock, you can lower the tailgate and you have remote start. So we can lower the tailgate. Now, it's not power up, however, it's very light. I mean, you can really just pop it up. So this does have the spray and bed liner and you got all the hooks and stuff in there. And you have two LED lights in here as well that you can turn on. So you can see how light this is. I mean, I'm this is very, very light. And this does have the remote start. So let's go ahead and start her up. Huh. There you go. Slight delay, but it does start up and it sounds absolutely amazing. All right, so let's go check out the inside. All right.
got sitting in the back seat. This is a full size truck, so there's a ton of room. You got tons of leg room, tons of head room, and you one thing Ram does really well is use nicer materials on the interior. Here you got the soft leather, you got the orange stitching, you got some carbon fiber right here, a little bit of Alcantara, black, gloss black or metal finish handles. Same soft leather here, you got some storage. This is the 19 speaker Harman Kardon system in here. Of course the seat itself, you got some storage here, a little bit more here. This does come with all weather mat or mats. So you can see the Ram logo right there. Underneath, you got the little cooler that everyone likes. Coming over here, you got more carbon fiber. I love the use of the carbon fiber. They really do it right. And then coming over here, you got your cup holders. So you got your power outlet here, 115 volt. You got your phone chargers, your USBs. And one thing that differentiates this from a Raptor is that this has heated and cooled seats, which is great because when you're in the summertime, you you don't want to be sweating if you're sitting back here. So it does have heated and cool seats, which I think is a good feature. You have a little bit more storage here. The seats are nice leather. They got nice stitching. They're very comfortable and very functional. And if you don't have a third person back here, you got a nice armrest with a little bit of storage. You got this soft Alcantara, the leather, and you got two more cup holders. So and it's definitely comfortable. You could take a long road trip out, out of here and sit in the back and be perfectly comfortable. All right, coming to the front, of course you have the same nice materials that you had in the back. You have the leather, carbon fiber, the soft leather touch, the Alcantara. Of course you got your window controls here, your rear view mirror controls here. You got more storage. You got a built-in cup holder that's actually rubber, so it's actually insulated, so it'll keep everything cold. Of course you got RAM right here you got your round here and your all-weather mats and you got performance pedals coming over here you got your lights you got your display brightness you got more carbon fiber going around here you got this kind of metal looking material here which i think is a good look and of course you got your pedal adjustment right here you have your 10-way adjustable seats you got your lumbar your front and back everything like that these are very soft comfortable seats Ram always does a great job with the interiors. They make sure they cover the small things as well as the big things. And it's just an overall good look and you actually feel like you're in a special truck. Okay, sitting inside in the driver's seat, of course you have a very nice steering wheel, leather, it is heated. You do have carbon fiber accents here. You also have your Alcantara here and you have a blacked out Ram. This is a small thing, but it's one of my pet peeves. When you have a very nice vehicle and a special edition vehicle, you want things to be different about it. And so when you have black accents running everywhere or you have something that's blacked out, but you see a big chrome emblem here, to me that just irks the hell out of me. They blacked it out, it looks really good. So coming over here, you got your paddle shifters here. Of course, you got your display changes here. You got your adaptive cruise control right here. You got your lane keep assist, so you can set that up here. Of course, you have your windshield wiper stock and your blinker stock. Now, one knock. So the MSRP on this vehicle is about $124,000. It's the final edition, so everything's maxed out on it. In my opinion, if you're gonna have a $124,000 truck that goes zero to 60 in less than four seconds, you need to have a power adjustable steering wheel, not a manual one. That's just me, I could be wrong. I'm just throwing it out there. Coming around, of course you do have nice leather and stitching up here, and you have more carbon fiber than you shake a stick at. Of course you got more carbon fiber here for your start stop button. Here you got your TRX badging here, you got your mode selection here. So, and you have your launch control. That's one of the things that the Raptor is missing. The one thing I do like about Ram is that they know this is a performance truck. So they put a launch control on it. And as I'll show you a little bit later, when he gets to the display, they actually have timers and gauges and everything for performance. It'll keep up with your zero to 60. It'll keep up with your quarter mile. It'll keep up with how fast you get in the quarter mile. Coming over here, of course, you got your trail assist. You got your you got your four wheel auto. This is an all time four wheel drive. So you got your four wheel auto. You got your four wheel high and your four wheel low. And you do have your rear locking differential right here. Coming over here, you got this more Alcantara, and this is badge. So on the badge it says V8 supercharged, 702 horsepower. It gives the VIN number. You got your American flag, Auburn Hills, Michigan, and so and 11 psi of boost from the supercharger. 
It's all laid out right here. It makes you feel like you're in a special vehicle, a one of a kind vehicle because here's the VIN number. No one else has this VIN number, but you have this VIN number. Coming around to the display is you have a massive 12 inch display that's more, that's vertical. And the response time is pretty good. You can change your modes. Of course, you can change, you got your air conditioner, your uh, controls for the radio. Coming down here, you do have a trailer brake and you do have trailer assist for the steering to back up a trailer. So that's all built in right here. You got four auxiliary switches and you know, here's your home. You can customize this to any way you want. You got your media, you got your navigation. Here you got your vehicle and we're gonna spend some time on this. Over here, you got your apps. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Up here on the top, of course, this is gloss black surrounding all the way around. Up here at the top, you got, got, you got a little bit more storage and you have a 12 volt plug-in right here. You have Ram, Alcantara, Harman Kardon up there. Coming over to the passenger side, you have two glove boxes. You have this decked out in carbon fiber with TRX badging here. You hit that, you got a mini glove box right there. Of course, you come down here, you have the bigger glove box, but I like the TRX right here. I think that's really cool. All right, here in the center display, of course, you got this storage here, and then you can raise this up, and you have more storage here. You have some plug-ins here, change holder here. You have measurements and measuring systems here. So if you need to do some work, Coming up here, of course, you got two cup holders right here. Here's your gear shift, nice leather right here. And of course you got the metal, that metal looking trim right here. More storage, you got two car chargers here, stand vertically for your phone. And then you come up to the display and you know, you have everything you need on here. It's fairly responsive. You have camera, dashboard, controls, settings. So, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Here's your timers. So we'll time your eighth, your quarter, your top speed, your zero to 60, your zero to 100. Coming down here, you got your performance gauges, air intake temp, coolant temp, transmission temp. So if you're doing a pull, you can see how much horsepower and torque you're cranking out, what your RPMs are. Here's your G-force meter. It'll also let you know what your pitch and roll is. So currently we're at a slight one degree incline and a kind of one degree on the side. Here's your vehicle dynamics. The steering wheel, the steering and tires are at a 24 degree angle. We're in four high auto. The rear axle is unlocked. So I think that that's pretty cool. So it just, to me, they really do that right. So if you go to race options, you got your launch control, you can set, activate launch control. We will not do that today because this TRX is still hasn't gone past the break-in period. And of course you can tell it when to shift gears and set those at what RPM to shift. You got your race cool down for your target temperature right here. So I just think all of this is really cool and I could sit here and play with this for freaking days. So that's just me personally. Over here you got controls, you got your vehicle cameras, you got your mirror dimmers. Of course coming over here to settings, you have all your displays, you have your navigation, everything like that. All your creature comforts that you could want in a vehicle. All right, coming up top. All right, one of the things I do like is that Ram actually offers a video rear view mirror here, which I love that feature in all vehicles. I, it just looks good. I would always keep it on. Of course, if you want to turn it off, you can do it like that. And then you turn it back on and it goes like that. Coming up here to the top, of course, this does have a full panoramic sunroof and moonroof. So you can open these up with tilt. You can, of course, close it and keep the sun out. And it does have a rear window opening opening here that you can open the sliding glass on your rear view and of course you have your assist SOS open your trunk like this overall it's just a really good layout on the inside I like it a lot um, there's a lot of stuff here you can play with and I haven't spent nearly enough time with this to play with everything hopefully I'll get a chance to in between takes and I just screw up enough that we'll have enough takes that I can go through all this and figure everything out on it. Or maybe I customize it to myself and just take it home with me. Who knows? We'll figure it out. All right, here is the supercharged 6.2 liter Hellcat engine. This engine cranks out 702 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque. This can launch this thing from zero to 60, depending on which publication you use, from 3.7 to four seconds 
everybody's just a little bit different and it also I think differs if you're at altitude or not. A quarter mile and about 12.3 at 110 miles an hour. Of course there are a lot of people that are doing mods to these engines. They're putting in custom air intakes, they're getting smaller pulleys, they're getting a bigger supercharger. Some people are cranking these things up to a thousand horsepower and making like 11 second quarter mile trucks out of it which is completely crazy and I would love to drop one. So over here, obviously you have your Easter egg, you have the T-Rex with a Raptor in its mouth, though I would have to assume that this Raptor isn't a Raptor R, because I don't think the T-Rex could eat a Raptor R now, but that's neither here nor there. So going back to more of the performance issue on this and the off-road capabilities that I didn't cover earlier, this T-Rex has 11.8 inches of ground clearance. So if you do any rock crawling or moderate rock crawling, you can do that with this. It also has 13 inches of travel on the wheels, so the articulation on the wheels. So you can definitely, you know, go up and down and left and right and it'll, it'll support it. And Believe it or not, this thing is rated to go up to 32 inches of water. So if you're going over a stream and you're confident it's not, you know, more than three feet or so, um, you can go through it in the Ram TRX. So it's a high speed truck, it's a performance truck, but it also brings a lot of off-road capability as well. All right, everybody, we've reviewed the outside, we've reviewed the inside. The only thing left to do now, take this dinosaur for a drive and see how she performs. I got the performance meters on, I got horsepower, I got torque, I got how much boost pressure we're getting, I got what the air to fuel ratio is. Right now we're perfectly stoichiometrically balanced. We're not running too rich, we're not running too lean. Here we have all the timers and stuff. If we wanted to go drag racing, we could put it on our G-Force right here. Of course we have our gauges, but we got gauges over here too. Our vehicle dynamics, take her for a ride. I got the heads up display set in the sport position so you see the RPMs and the drive mode and everything. So I do like the fact that I'm gonna go down here get some speed turn around and then we'll go back out that way and there she is that magical supercharger one the engine attribute that everyone gets addicted to that's right I'm cutting across the grass we're in the TRX F it Oh my God, listen to that exhaust and supercharger. Okay, first impressions, obviously I love the cabin. I love the way everything's laid out. I love all the materials, all the gauges you can play with. I can sit in here for an hour and just play with stuff. This drives, it's nimble, but it also drives like a big heavy truck. You can tell you're in a 6,500 pound truck, which isn't a bad thing. Everybody has their preferences. It drives really well. The Bilsteins are really good. I think you probably get the most out of them when you are taking this off-roading and jumping it. I think that's really when they come into play. Um, on the road, they can be a little stiff, but I'm in sport mode, so that might have something to do with it. If I was in auto, it pro they probably would loosen up a little bit. Um, but I don't, I mean, if I'm gonna drive something like this, I'm freaking gonna be in sport mode. I'm not when it go into auto or whatever. I do like the feel of the steering wheel. Um, I would probably make it a tad bit thicker, but I do like the feel of the leather and the Alcantara. And I just, I do love this blacked out Ram right here. It looks pretty badass. Going around these curves, I mean, listen, I'm not expecting anything to be like a Z06 or an MC20 or a GT3 coming around here. Cause we're in a, big ass truck so you're gonna get a lot of roll but you can if you know these if you know a road pretty well you can take some of these at some higher speeds I'm not because this isn't my neck of the woods and there's people in front of us visibility over the hood um, like in, with any big truck can be limited so I'm not really knocking it for that usually I mean in, with any big truck I feel like half the time you got to put on the front uh, camera to park to make sure you don't hit anything in the front um, so that's pretty standard you do feel like you own this road even though it's 
35s, you are sitting up pretty high. I do feel like, you know, you're, you are sitting pretty high. You feel like you're in, I feel like I'm in something that if I wanted to, I could get up on the bumper of the car in front of me and my truck would just literally eat it and get it out of the way. That's kind of what you feel like when you're driving a truck like this, that's got this much power and this much size. And when it comes to reviewing these vehicles, I understand everybody's got their preferences, right? You got Ford fanboys, you got Chevy fanboys, you got Jeep fanboys, you got Ram fanboys. And so, you know, all I can do is tell you what I feel and keep my, and be as objective about it as I can because you can have the worst driving truck no matter which brand it is ever and 50 percent of the people or if a person's a fanboy of that brand they're going to say it's awesome and you can have the best driving truck ever and if someone is a fanboy of another brand but not that brand they're going to say it's terrible and it doesn't act right and everything else under the sun so it's kind of like politics when it comes to that when it comes to the vehicle world um but i could and this the TRX would make a very capable daily driver. It's got plenty of room, very comfortable back seats, heated and ventilated. So you could definitely put the kids back there. You could put all the child seats back there you want. Um, and, you know, it's got every creature comfort known to man in here. And it does zero to 60 in under four seconds. So you got that going for you. The one knock is, is if you look at the sticker, the fuel economy is 10 in the city, 14 on the highway, 12 combined. Most people I know with TRXs or have reviewed TRXs or owned them and posted stuff on YouTube, it all depends on how you drive. It, if you're doing 80 or 85 on the interstate, you're not going to get 14. If you're doing mostly city driving and you got a heavy foot, you're not going to get 10. So I think usually it ranges from like 8 to 12 with 10 being the median with how normal people drive, not how the EPA drives and rates these. Because so I think the EPA, when they get on the highway, they do a straight 70 for X amount of miles. And if you do that, yeah, you can probably get 14 or even 15. But most people don't follow the speed limit, so. So this thing can drink the gas. And you have to put 93 in it. But if you're buying this truck, let's be honest with you, you can't be concerned with gas. If you're buying any full-size truck, even if it gets 20 miles a gallon, you still can't be that concerned with gas. If you're concerned with gas, go get a Prius. Go get a Honda Civic or a Chevy Malibu. Go get something that gets good gas mileage. Don't buy a vehicle that you know doesn't get good gas mileage and then complain it doesn't get good gas mileage. definitely like the way this truck drives so hopefully y'all can hear me in the camera up here um, but I definitely like the way this truck drives and I would not be getting 12 miles to the gallon combined I'm just going to say that right now all right we're back on the phone camera I just need to figure out how to yeah I gotta you can't flip it while it's all right, we're back on the phone camera until it shuts down again for heat. It's hotter than four Hades here in Alabama. My GoPro went down. I think the outside's okay because there's wind hitting it, but we'll see. We're going to try to get on some open road and get some clean air so we can really experience what it's like driving this TRX. Because right now I feel like I'm in driver's ed.
So there you have it, the 2024 Ram TRX. We looked at the outside, the inside, the engine, we drove it, and it was a great review and a fun truck. So if you're down in Hoover, be sure to check out my friends here at Hendrick Motors for Chevy, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. This particular truck is available and they can set you up with it. Check out the videos to my left, and remember, if you're in the back roads of Tijuana and you have a fun car or truck to drive, like we did today, go ahead and give the business and have a good time with it. We'll see y'all later.